Hello there, boys and girls. It is time for Wooldridge's Weekly Read Aloud. This week, I believe, is week number 11. This week, we are going to read a story called The Fleas Sneeze by Lynn Downey, illustrated by Carla Firehammer. Boys and girls, as we read this story, I want you to listen for all the rhyming words. On a dark, dark night, on an old, old farm, in a rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. A rat, a cat, a black-eyed bat, a cow, an owl, a feathered fowl, a dog, a hog, an old, old barn, barn frog, Everyone slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him cough. <laughs> not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept feast peacefully, but not the flea. There he is, right there on top of the mouse. No one heard him. <sniffs> sniffle, sniffle. Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. There he is right there. No one heard his garbled plea. Does anybody have a tissue for B? Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. Then suddenly, before he could cover his snoot, a chew! It scared the rat, who cried, boo-hoo! And woke the cat, who hissed, maroo! It baffled the bat, whose eyes turned blue, and confused the cow, who muttered, Moo! Moo! It outraged the owl, who hollered, Hoo! Hoo! <coughs> and flustered the fowl, who crowed, Cock-a-doodle-doo! It daunted the dog, who barked, Whoa! Woo! And sprayed the hog, who screamed, Ew! and reminded the frog of his old nephew. But the mouse, the flea used for a house, kindly gave him a tissue. The flea wiped his nose, and before his eyes had even closed, he began to doze. For all the rest of that dark, dark night on the old, old farm in the rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. The flea and the mouse he used for a house, 
the rat, the cat, the black-eyed bat, the cow, the owl, the feathered fowl, even the dog and the old barn frog. Everyone slept just like a log, except the hog. No one heard his garbled wheeze. I think I'm gonna sneeze. The end. I enjoyed reading with you and I look forward to next time.